The reason why I quit carnivore is because I was having problems with my kidneys. Even uh, like with dehydration, even supplementing all the electrolytes, I actually stopped absorbing them. And so uh, the kidneys were just taking the brunt of it and I couldn't, I was kind of freaking out. Here I'm going to show you what can happen if you're on the carnivore diet for too long. These are uric acid stones. They are a type of crystal. I can prove that if I just, you know, they're, they're crunchy, they're crystals. These are uric acid crystals. Really what I was missing is a little bit of carbohydrate. That's it. Because you got to understand, once your kidneys are so dehydrated that they get damaged, they can't actually... They can't actually produce DAO anymore, and so that's why many carnivores get what's called histamine intolerance. If you're getting weird skin issues, dandruff, that sort of thing, that's probably why. Um, if you're getting other problems like pain in the kidneys, just try a little bit of carbohydrate, seriously. What? Most likely, you're dehydrated, and uh, because you've got to understand, your liver actually needs some amount of carbohydrate to transport minerals. If you can't absorb or transport minerals properly, it's gonna go straight to the kidney and damage the tubules. And then once your kidneys are damaged, they're not gonna be able to process the protein or the minerals. So they're actually gonna end up doing more damage uh, trying to fix it and work around it when you could just consume some carbohydrate. And it's in the name, carbohydrate. It hydrates you, so. <laughs> I'm not going to eat any meat, so technically I am having a, a, a vegan what I eat in a day. Um, I'm laying off the meat for a while. I've got to give my body a break from the meat. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess uh, I didn't want it to be like a vegetable police video, but... Alright y'all, you know how this works. If a few people on social media stop doing a popular diet, then that means the diet doesn't work for anyone. In fact, it means the entire diet movement is collapsing. So, sorry, hate to inform you guys, but the carnivore diet is over. It's canceled. It's officially not fit for human consumption. This has been verified by multiple anecdotes at this point. We see people just falling off left and right, failing on the carnivore diet, losing their health, it's really a shame that there are people who continue to promote this nutrient deficient diet on social media despite all of these clearly proven peer-reviewed anecdotes I don't know what to say guys you know if if those standards apply for plant-based diets then we have to apply them for the carnivore diet as well I hate to do it but that's just how it works now, if you want to check out how former vegan athlete Tim Sheaf failed on a carnivore diet, having no energy despite eating lots of ribeye and raw liver, then click on the thumbnail that pops up right now. All right, y'all know what time it is. Red Pill Vegan, next.